is fun. Now it's my turn. There's magic, there's many descriptions of magic, and then there's magic. To me, this noun is so vague that it can be used for anything. It can be used for anything fictional in any way, particularly because this vague term realistically doesn't exist. Here's one example for you, a Disney film containing a formulaic coming of age story about a young man who discovers his powers known as the Sorcerer's Apprentice. No, not that Fantasia short we know of starring Mickey Mouse, no. I mean a live action version about the reinvention of wizardry. Gee, hasn't that been done to death? First taking place in the year 740 of England, Bathazar, played by Nicolas Cage, is an ancient sorcerer who was, in ways, related to Merlin. I'm sure you've known him if you've seen The Sword in the Stone, Excalibur, or anything King Arthur related. Merlin is killed by a character named Maxim Horvath by betraying him and helping an evil sorcerer named Morgan. While all this is going on, Horvath and Bathazar's friend Veronica are trapped in two separate grim holds which are made as prisons. After all this backstory, we're jumped to our current time in New York City and introduced to a geeky kid named Dave. After centuries, Bathazar was looking for a child who would one day be the next sorcerer. He finds Dave and uses a magic dragon piece on him that can form a ring on whoever is next for an apprentice. Dave is the one and then he journeys his way into becoming a sorcerer, with several problems. He faces Horvath and his new apprentice Drake Stone to get the Grimhold that has Veronica and Morgana who were both combined together back in 740. As if the plot wasn't enough to explain, there's also a love story that eventually gets crammed in, making things a bit harder to follow. When I first heard about this film, I didn't display any interest, but after taking the opportunity to sit and watch it, my first thought on this film is that I found the premise pretty awkward. I mean, the origins are taking place in England, but in modern times, we're taking place in New York. I really don't know why. And another thing, Bathazar doesn't have an English accent, yet he was from England. Okay, there are some notable inconsistencies, and I know I'm nitpicking too much. But as far as flaws go, anyway, the story pretty much amounts to every predictable cliché or any typical characters you get in a coming-of-age plot. It's not to say it's bad, but it's obviously unoriginal. And considering there have been many stories about wizardry done before, I already knew this was coming. On the plus side, I found the acting pretty decent, and the casting isn't too bad. Personally, I enjoy films Nicolas Cage starred in, but most of the time, whenever I see Nicolas Cage on film, I see him practically the same way as he always acts. Which isn't too bad, but I still enjoy his roles nonetheless. Jay Barakel, who played Dave, was okay at his acting. His character in general was funny and motivating, but kind of annoying half the time. He does some embarrassing things I would never do, but other times he'd do things I would do. Visually, I'd have to confess that the special effects here were pretty cool to watch. The action scenes were no different, the effects were nothing different compared to Avatar, but they were pretty colorful and creative, watching various transformation sequences with clever choreography. And overall, they're better than most CG special effects. So overall, it was okay. It's pretty fun at times, but it's like Independence Day. You get past the action and special effects, there's really nothing original or creative in any way. It's nothing fresh or new on the table, but it does what it can to entertain you. If you love eye candy, this movie's for you. If you like action, choreography, and noise, you might like it. If you're up to inspect a complicated story, knock yourself out. Otherwise, don't expect anything else. You either love it or hate it. I pretty much stand in between the lines to particularly give this a very marginal recommendation. The Sorcerer's Apprentice gets a two and a half stars.